If you're using your Stream Deck just for macros or commands and shortcuts, you're missing out on a lot of other functionality that it can provide. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candidate Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can put your YouTube subscriber count right on your Stream Deck. So if you want your YouTube channel statistics right on your Stream Deck, as you can probably guess, we're going to have to install a plugin. Now, uh, we're going to use the YouTube Stats Tracker plugin that's available on the Stream Deck Marketplace. I'll put a link for this in the description below. But essentially, what you have to do is uh, navigate to this page and click on uh, this Open in Stream Deck button. This will launch the plugin inside of your Stream Deck. And uh, all right, it's going to take a minute to download, but uh, we'll be good to go. All right, so let me just set this up by uh, changing my default profile. Let me delete this key. Uh, and uh, let's say we want to see channel subscribers. Drag and drop this button to an empty uh, key on your Stream Deck. And now you need uh, two things. You need the API key for YouTube and you need the channel ID of whatever channel it is that you want to track. Now, how do we get these? So uh, head back to your browser and search for uh, Google Cloud Console. Um, this is the URL that we're looking for. So Google Cloud Platform. Sign into this and uh, create a new project. If you don't have one already, you can do that by uh, heading over to this section here and clicking on create project. I already have one ready to go. Okay, at this point, we are going to click on APIs and services. And uh, then we're going to click on library. Now just search for YouTube. And there we are. So we need uh, this uh, API, which is the YouTube data API v3, which provides you access to YouTube data like videos, playlists, channels, and so on and so forth. You can also enable the analytics API just in case if you want to pull additional data as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on it and then click on enable. All right. Now that we've enabled the YouTube data API, the next step is to head over to the credentials section. And this is where we're going to create a new API key. So just click on create credentials up top. Click on API key and let Google do its thing. All right, so now we have uh, our key right here. Click close. So let's click this key. Okay, we're going to copy it. And now we're going to head back into Elgato Stream Deck. So uh, this is where you're going to copy your uh, YouTube API key. Uh, you can select the update period. It's five minutes by default. Just for the sake of it, I'm going to select one. And now you need uh, your YouTube channel ID. YouTube channel ID is very easy to find. Just head over to youtube.com. We'll let it load. Click on your profile icon in the top right. Uh, head over to settings click on view advanced settings and you'll find your channel and user id right here so click copy come back to stream deck click paste and then click save and as you can see i have uh, my channel subscribers are showing up right here i need to zoom in and i forgot what my bind was so i'm going to have to go to my obs profile and then come back to this one so yeah, as you can see, this is now showing uh, the number of channel subscribers that I have. If I want to change it to something, let's say channel views, I'll go here. Uh, once again, I'm going to have to give it the same API key. So that's going to be this uh, channel ID as we found out is going to be this. Click save. And as you can see, I will it will find my channel views as well. So 144 channel views, 92 subscribers, clearly not uh very popular in that sense but this is how you can put youtube starts on your stream deck if you like these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below if you have any thoughts on the video and i'll be there talking to you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video